hello. Thank you. This is part two of reviewing Phoenix 200 made by Harman Photos. Um, let's pick up where we left off and uh, get to it. So we left off here. We're going to go on to the next photo. Ah, uh, yes. So this is a misfire. Um, not really much to review. I was uh, switching lenses here, uh, but decided to just put back on the 50 even after this misfire. Uh, just I wanted to see a perspective different. We were in line and I wanted a bit of a wider angle. So perhaps the next couple, we'll look at them, uh, will be a, a 24 mil instead of 50. Um, so yeah, this is a misfire, it happens. Uh, the Nikkor Mat FTN does not have a safety feature that prevents this from happening, so it's going to happen sometimes. Oh yes, okay, so this is with a 24mm um, put on the Nikkor Mat. So initial impressions, there's a lot to look at. Um, the halation really, well... <laughs> the highlights are very blown out, but let, I mean, let's, let's see if we can zoom in here. I mean, the shadow detail kind of gets lost in this because of such high contrast. But overall, I think this is a really good photo. Um, I mean, people in trees love to see. You can see the vast amount of people um, in the vicinity that is uh, waiting in line just to get in. And uh, kids just being kids, love it, you know? So what is the focus? The focus is obviously, you know, of these children and trees in this tree, excuse me. Um, the exposure, um, I'm gonna say it's slightly underexposed because this is the focus, right? But as we can see from the highlights, if I were to do a metering for both the highlights and the shadows I would have gotten a lot more uh, even exposure and take the median of uh, the both of those so um, as we discussed in the previous um, part of this uh, the white balance and the lighting are or excuse me the light white balance and the color are going to be a bit off simply because of the characteristics of this film stock so but the depth of field um, I'm gonna guess I'm guessing because I totally forgot to record um, what I metered for this. But I'm going to guess, because of how blown out the highlights are, um, that I probably shot this at f8, 250th, maybe even... No, if it was 250th, I think the, shot, the shadows would have been a, a bit more... Uh, there would have been a lot more detail in the shadows. And I could probably pull some up it after editing this, uh, but as it stands, as it was scanned, uh, I'm gonna say 500th of a second to, or uh, so F8 at 500th of a second is what I'm gonna approximate this was shot at simply because of the highlights and the lack of shadow detail. So let us continue. I think uh, overall this, I think for me, it's, I mean, what emotion and what story this tells uh, could be very subjective. I mean, I think we all can relate to, or most of us can relate to, you know, being younger and uh, climbing trees, things of this nature, waiting in line kind of thing. Uh, you know, I mean, look, you, it's, it's a great photo of humans being humans, and I absolutely love it. Uh, the story, the story is very ambiguous, but the story is kids being kids, right? People, humans being humans, being, interacting with the world around them. Um, perspective, it's very centered, uh, so does not really leave much room for depth I think it doesn't feel like a flat image simply because of the the trees the trees branches and um, the way that the highlights and the shadows kind of mingle in with all this the vast amount of people I mean you know let's, I mean let's zoom in here we can see the couple from uh, 
our previous photo. There we go. So we do le lose some uh, detail here, uh, and it could just be also uh, the format I'm viewing this on. It is, you know, on a Chromebook, so excuse me. This could be also a factor, or I think we should also take that into account in the quality of this. Um, but as it stands here, I think overall, I mean, the perspective is fine because the main subject is people in trees or in this tree uh, surrounded by <laughs> the lack of trees and more people. So I think it's, it's uh, overall, I think it's a, a really powerful, not, maybe not powerful, but like it's a strong image in my opinion. So um, there's not very many distractions. I mean, with the blown out highlights, it does kind of draw that Im that your eyes to the center. Um, and the center of this subject. Um, composition, I think, so far, uh, and prior to the other images uh, where framing was uh, should have been more intentional, I think this really captures uh, an intentional framing. Even though I did kind of shoot this from the hip, uh, I think it turned out quite well for it for being that. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with this image. The initial photo is fantastic. So, yeah, or, you know, initial impression, excuse me, uh, I think is really powerful. So, overall, I'm pretty happy with this image. Moving on. Okay, this is still with the 24, because I remember being pretty close to this person. Um... But, I mean, so on this side, a little context for you, uh, we're still in line waiting to just even get into uh, the Renaissance Fair uh, area, arena, world. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what you would categorize it as. Um, event. And I was on, I, my partner and I, we already paid for our tickets. They just simply needed to be scanned. And on this side is all the folks who did not purchase tickets prior to arriving. Um, both lines were similar, very similar uh, in length. And, uh, but yeah, so that is what you're looking at on that side. But um, this person and just the colors in general were very pleasing to my eyes. And uh, so this is another, so let's reel it back in. Initial impressions, nothing out of the ordinary. We can agree that this is the subject simply because it is center focused. Um, the exposure is a lot more evenly distributed. So I'm gonna guess this is perhaps F16, 250th of a second, 125th of a second. Not 125th, excuse me. Uh, one over 250th of a second, thank you. Uh, so I think the, the white balance, or excuse me, the, the overall exposure is uh, is pretty even, uh, despite the characteristics of the film stock. It's, uh, so I think I should have gotten a little bit closer or switched back to my 50, the nifty 50, just to um, really accentuate who was in focus. Because, I mean, this does a good job at centering and, like, really telling the story of who is the subject. Excuse me. Pardon me. Um, overall, I still would have, should have gotten closer or uh, put my 50 on rather than using the 24 mil. Um, the contrast is being pretty consistent for this film stock. Um, the highlights are really, really bright. So definitely future use of this stock, I am going to be metering more for the highlights. And honestly, should be metering more for the highlights and the shadows and just doing a, a an, an average of between the two meters of for that exposure. But um, I think overall, so does this hold and grab attention? Not necessarily. 
Uh, I mean, there are interesting things to look at. I mean, I think the flags kind of allow your eyes to wander a bit more. Uh, but this negative space here, these neg this negative space does take away from the image. So I would have, um, in the future, I would, again, be more intentional about what I'm framing, how I'm framing it. I probably would have, I might edit this later and crop it in a bit more just to uh, remove all those unwanted distractions. Uh, so, I mean, overall, I think it's a, it can be improved, but it's, uh, it's a stronger image uh, than what we've seen in the previous one. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, I think. I mean, clearly this subject is interesting, in my opinion, and uh, I think just needed a bit better framing uh, to accentuate uh, the characteristics of the subject. So, moving on. Okay, we're still using the 24 mil here, uh, simply because of how wide this angle is and all the information that's in it. I really like initial impression. I really love seeing the flags um, in line here, along with the people. So there was this makeshift line that was going through that was kind of swiveling through uh, these flags uh, just to get to into the uh, the festival grounds. Amazing stuff. I think this I think this was the correct focal length to choose for this uh, this particular area, this image. I mean, it's clear this is the subject, but there is there are a lot of things that uh, our eyes wander through. This pole though does, um, kind of divide the image and then you have this area that really doesn't even need to be in there so personally I would crop it in a bit or just even remove this area because uh, it doesn't it's not adding it's not it's taking away from the photo more than it is adding to it um, really all of the action is on the left side of this image so um, I mean, depth of field, not the greatest, but there's, I, you know, this family right here does add for the foreground. You have the main area where the subject is in the middle ground, and then you have your background filled with more people. And the flags allow for that depth to uh, be more in accentuated, which helps this image not fit, feel less flat, which I appreciate. Very good, very good. So. Overall, I mean, it's a good image. Would remove this area simply because of the pole, and it, it's not adding. It's in fact distracting. Um, so, um, the the story. I mean, pub crawl. I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, well, when I took this, I, I wasn't sure what it was, uh, but it's for folks who are uh, partaking in uh, beverages and just simply walking and talking while enjoying it. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this image. Um, the way your eye flows through it, the subject, but this is a distraction. So um, I would edit it by removing that, which I can't really show you as I can only zoom in, um, but I would just probably change the aspect ratio of it uh, to f uh, fix this. So moving on. All right, we've got that lovely sun flare here um, that could have been prevented with a, um, a lens hood or something of that nature. Maybe I could have used my hat to uh, help that, but um, I mean, it's got its own characteristics, right? So initial impressions is uh, because of this, little, the sun being so bright and it's, a tw I'm pretty sure this is still 24 um, millimeters on the focal length that, um, it should have been, I should have used the 50 if I was gonna make this the subject, but uh, alas, uh, <laughs> these are prime lenses and I did not have a zoom lens, therefore I couldn't easily switch between the two. So, word of advice, stick to a lens, and stick to, or pick a lens, stick to it. 
but or you know unless you know what you're gonna be shooting but I mean overall I mean it, it's got somewhat of a story it's not strong uh, there's no emotion that really is evoked here there's people waiting in line you've got the ATM flag here um, you know the sticks and the pole kind of have some kind of thing going on but it, it's not strong enough that I would say that I enjoy this image um, the kids here looking up at the people with the tankards and this guy was you know yelling come to the pub, pub crawl pub crawl you know yeah, really good stuff really good stuff but um you had to be there so <laughs> this image does not relay that information well at all so i mean overall i mean it, it's uh it's a lacking image that could have been improved with uh adjustments prior to using the shutter <laughs> so moving on all right this image ah so looks like these scans are a little out of order that's all right um i was trying to capture just the sheer amount of people in this area i believe this is with the 50 on so i'm gonna assume this is probably f 16 maybe 11 at 250th uh -huh. 250th of a second um, I mean we have a clear subject here but really the subject was the entirety of the photo um, I really love that the trees are are in this image with the amount of people um, this probably could have been even at f8 simply because the lack of detail here on this image right here on the the post right here um, but we can see Renaissance so interesting interesting where it's losing some sharpness here on the sides so it could be the 24 mil as well um, just because I have noticed that with that lens but we're gonna we're gonna say this is the 50 it <laughs> apologize it could be the 50 it could be the 24 i'm gonna say it's the 24 simply because of how this image this post here looks and it's losing some definition um i really like the halation that's on top of all these folks head it kind of gives an ethereal kind of feel to it um i think this image is more properly exposed than the previous ones we have viewed simply because we have that chat the you know everything looks you can def you can actually define what is uh you know in focus or what is available to see in the image and i love that so i mean overall i mean it's mm, there's nothing really that grabs my attention besides you know uh the halation the, this subject here but um I mean, there's not really any emotion. There's not really a story. Besides, there's a bunch of people in what looks like, at, at first glance here, like it's pretty heavily uh, forested, but it's not. So it goes to show, you know, whatever you frame in your image, you're gonna, is important to the story that you tell. So uh, depth of field, I mean, we, we can see the amount of people here, uh, but overall it is a flat image simply because, excuse me, uh, there's not really a clear way to see where, like you've got your foreground, your middle ground, and then the background and the middle ground is kind of blending in together, giving it that flat image um, feel to it. So, I mean, overall, I mean, it's I, it's a decent photo, but uh, I don't think it's powerful. I don't think it's a strong image, simply because of uh, how flat it is. But, I mean, if you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Moving on. Okay. Um, yes, I'm going to say this was with the 50 millimeter. Uh, simply because of how focused it is on the subject here yeah and 
we can clearly see what is in focus. Um, I don't recall being this close to this person, so which is also why I'm saying uh, this was the 50 millimeter. I mean, I think this is a nice image. I personally am drawn to hand gestures uh, and hands in images, not necessarily people's faces, uh, but more of their body language in general. So I think this, um, from from my initial impression, I think this is a, a strong image. It could be stronger with more proper exposure as the highlights are quite blown out. So maybe shooting this at f16 one thousandth of a second or even 500, some, uh, a little bit more closed down would have uh, brought in a bit more definition to these highlights. But I mean, if we were to, you know, zoom in a bit, maybe even crop this. Come on now, work with me. There we go. Crop this into more of uh, maybe this area right here, something like that. I think that makes it much more of a stronger image than where it is. But as it stands, as it is scanned, I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset with this image. Uh, but it isn't as strong as I would like it to be. So cropping it in this area, focusing on the hand and the colors, this gesture, um, I think is a really nice eye, you know, allows your eye to travel through the image a bit. Um, you've got people's faces that just, it, it's just, it feels like a nice flow at this crop. But I mean, even right here, I mean, there's, I'm, there's not a whole lot of negative space, which is what we've been seeing in the, in the previous images. Um, the space is being used up and the contrast definitely feels like more of a flow through the image. I mean, you've got this this uh, subject here in all black compared to these more colorful. And it was hot as heck. I don't know how this person was even dressed that way. But hey, more power to them. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I think this is an all right image. Uh, it does tell a story, um, but that story can be uh, subjective and... You know, anybody could make up a story about what's going on in here. And I'm going to leave that to you guys. Uh, but this is someone, I think, who worked at the, you know, the fair and uh, was um, perhaps like a, what is it, like a news tailor, something of that nature. But yeah, no, I mean, the hat, the hand, the, this this flow right here and the, the nice halation highlight on the arm and the hand is really what um, I was drawn to initially so I would crop it into this area like that lovely image overall moving on yes more children playing um, they these two the, these two subjects were going like merry-go-round style um, and I was trying to capture them while doing that, but uh, this one uh, stumbled on their their path during their circle, and that's all right. Did capture that, but um, it doesn't have quite the story that I was trying to um, share here. So I would crop it in a little. I mean, we've got this negative space. I'm going to assume this is with the uh, 24 mil. Um, just because of how wide it was, this image is. Um, I mean, there's not really any, there's the sh these shadows, I guess you can consider, are the foreground. You have your middle ground with the subject and this pole that could have been more aligned to a, an axis, but it was not. So, and then, you know, you have the, the crowd, the sea of, of people in the background. Um, so I think, like, even though this isn't what I initially was hoping to capture with this, um, with the, the these two subjects uh, going around and around this flagpole, um, it still tells a story that uh, I think I think folks can relate to, you know, being younger and uh, having a whimsical, just trying to beat the heat and get through uh, this line of waiting for the excitement that is inside.
So I think uh, overall, I mean, it's a it's a it's an all right image, but it could have been improved with a little patience and or quickness, because since this subject is no longer in the motion of merry-go-round, um, it does disrupt. But it tells a completely different story, which is all right. That happens, right? Especially if you're not fast enough when you see an image, you gotta you gotta take it, right? Maybe not take it, but capture it. Do what you gotta do. If you feel called to it, do it. Um, but yeah, I probably would crop it a little bit. Like something like that nature, just to make it a little bit more stronger. But I feel with cropping it at this, this close, kind of does take make the image feel a little flat. So, but... Um, Maybe put it in a square format um, and just focus on these two subjects. Maybe even including these guys right here, but um, that is to be debated and to be um, decided later. I think overall, though, um, with a little more intentional framing and uh, quickness of hand, I could have um, made a photo that was more stronger and more of what I was intending to show here. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not upset with the the outcome, but it I mean, it is where it is. Uh so, yeah. Moving on. All right, we are at the front of the line here and uh there is a perhaps a jester uh messenger something of that nature um d telling what's going on in the renaissance grounds at the moment and uh yeah i mean we were so close so close we had been waiting in line for almost an hour even though we had purchased tickets prior to it so get there earlier than <laughs> when it opens so uh yeah that's my recommendation. But initial um, impression, uh, it's it's not really a powerful image. There's nothing crazy going on here. Nothing really that draws or makes me want to stay and look at this image. Um, the sheer amount of people, this was... So I changed my lens again here uh, because... I was trying to see what they, what was going on up front here. Uh, so I believe this is shot with um, my 80 to 200 Nikkor uh, lens. F8, uh, excuse me, F4 for the smallest aperture. But um, I mean, the compression that's happening here, it does feel nice focusing on this subject. But it's not entirely what I was hoping for. And um, just with a bit more, again, intentional framing, uh, I think I could have made this image a bit more powerful. Something like that, perhaps. You live and you learn. So, I mean, doesn't really necessarily hold any attention. There's no really emotion that evokes, besides being a person in line waiting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean it's it's an alright image. The highlights again are blown out. Um, so if you are going to shoot this uh, film stock in broad daylight like this, <laughs> meter for your highlights and your shadows because this film stock is not that forgiving here. And that's all right. We live and learn. Continuing. All right. One second here. Let me see. I'm gonna take a little break here. 